Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gabak USA. In this video, we are going to talk about the switch from Blackmagic. So if you want to use something like that, maybe for church, maybe for, for yourself, because maybe you're a YouTube guy like me. So if that is the case, I'm going to explain a little bit the difference between using a hardware, between uh, all the other hardware or the other software, maybe like the Roland or maybe like this uh, other device Cerebo and, and all those things. So I'm going to uh, start changing the cameras a little bit so you can see what you can do uh, with this kind of device. So I'm going to do a little bit of a demo. So here on my side I have a computer. I have a computer that it has just all the, the software. So as you can see here, so as you can see here, I have the switcher in this case. Uh, is a ATM production 4K and this is the other camera. So this is what you are going to see. Now I'm going to change uh, between the other camera. So we're going to change with the camera number one. So you can see. So here I am. This is the the, the other camera that I have over there. So here I have my computers and you can see here I have my my computer that handles everything and you will see another picture that is in the back. That is because we are using a, um, a green screen. So if I want to change uh, something else, let's say for the for this, so you will see now this on the back. Uh, if you want, uh, we can see number three. So that is the, the green screen, as, as you can see. And uh, we are going, I mean, if we, if you want, you can connect the computer as well. And then we can uh, play with, with the computer as well. So I'm going to try to connect it to my Mac right now. So I have it disconnected. So now we, we can see, okay, now I'm going to connect the other camera. So great. Now we have the background of uh, El Capitan. Uh, that is uh, OS X. So if you have to maybe share uh, with someone, uh, you can do this, so I'm going to drag and drop. As you can see now, I have in the background the other screen. The other thing that you have to think when you're using green screen and all the things is you have to uh, be very careful with the um, lights and everything else. Now I, I did just a quick uh, setup, so I had the green screen or something like that, but if you're very careful with that, you will have a great effect. Otherwise, you may see uh, like a, um, a cloud or something like that on the on the image so now uh, i can show people whatever I, I want and that is great also what i can do is i can show different uh, logos like here i have a, a one logo or maybe i want to show another logo so this is my website uh, gavaki gavaki usa and when i do my shows in spanish i use that one that is gavak tech so uh, i can do everything from uh, this this computer so that is it's great. Um, like I said, I'm going to show you uh, once again the other the other camera, so you can see. Okay. So now, as you can see, this is all my setup. So here I have the the software. I'm not going to go into uh, very in deep how to use it because uh, over time it might change, uh, like every every software. But here I have a remote control. So if I push here the remote control, you can see. I have the, um, the computer and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to show you a little bit. So here, uh, depend if you push one key or the other one, you are going to start seeing different things, different effects and everything else. So if you want to uh, do like the green screen, you will play with this. And if you want to change the cameras, you can do it from the top or if you want to change the preview, you can do it from the bottom. So that is the, the main thing. So now I'm going to remove the zoom so you can uh, look at me a little bit better. Here I have uh, one light. Like I said, this was a quick setup so I can shoot this this video. We're going to change like with the other camera. So I'm going to show you a change a little bit. So on, on the back, you have a, I have another software. I'm using Wirecast so I can save everything in that uh, computer and after a while I'm going to uh, save it. In this case you can use a different, uh, there are different options. In this case I'm using Inosheni. This is a product that you can connect to your computer. It has a HDMI uh, 
input uh, with the USB. You can connect it in the computer. That way you can save the file. Uh, another thing is uh, they have uh, another is a studio something else that I have in I have it in my table here. I'm going to show you uh, right quick. You can use that as well in case uh, if you want to save everything. Here is a HyperDeck Studio. So if you want to uh, save everything in the hard drive, you can do that as well. Uh, this costs around a thousand dollars. The other product might cost like five hundred, but it, it depends. I mean, with this you can uh, record unlimited. Uh, meanwhile. Once a disk is full, you can change it by the other one and then keep changing it between a, a whatever you are doing. So that, that the way one, a, one hard drive is full, uh, you can uh, start saving in this one when this one, um, I mean, and then when you're recording in this one, you remove this one, put a new one. When this is full, you can uh, jump, uh, recording in this one. So that is another option. And the good thing is with this, you can uh, connect it to your computer, use uh, any software that you want here. Uh, you can use uh, DaVinci, uh, Final Cut, uh, Avid, uh, Compressor, uh, Avid Media Compressor, and Premiere Pro. I use Final Cut and it works great. So I'm going to show you a little bit. So this is all what you can use uh, with this uh, kind of devices. So I'm going to do an unboxing in, in another video so we can see how everything works. So now I'm going to change to my main camera so you can see me over there. So uh, the, the main advantage about using this kind of uh, hardware instead of using a computer because you may use a, a computer uh, maybe with this kind of devices. The thing is you're going to need a, a computer with a lot of power like six cores, 16 gigs of RAM or more. Uh, in, even though you, you, will, you will run in some issues like uh, performance, maybe disk, uh, disk, um, disk space uh, and other things. So you, if you can have uh, everything in this kind of devices, it's great. Uh, so after a little bit, we are going to do an unboxing. So I'm going to show you those things. Uh, if you use um, another product, maybe like I said, uh, Roland. Um, Roland use a little fan. It's not that noisy. The bad thing is just 1080p. This is the only product that I see on the market that is 4K. So that is awesome. Um, the other products, uh, maybe like Cerebo, like I said before, this is another switcher that comes everything together. It doesn't have any um, any 4K capabilities, but it, it, it records only in 1080p, but the 1080p, the resolution is, is very poor, so I don't recommend that. I, I When I have my Cerebo, what I used to use is one of these. So the output of that one, I use it in this one, and then uh, that way I can have a, a higher res resolution. All, other than that, that, other than, than that um, that is the, the, the problem. This, pro uh, this uh, hardware is great. It makes noise, so it will be a kind of loud. So maybe in another video, if you want, I can show you a little bit how loud is it but usually what I'm using it right now I have it in uh, just in a rack with with doors and everything so it will not make any noise or at least I will not hear from here and um, the the way you go so it's very easy you can install it install it even in, a, in an iPad if you want to switch like in cameras like I said before um, that that way you will uh, you will be able to stream online uh, also, there is another product if, if you want to stream online, it's called uh, Video Pro. I have it here, so I'm going to show you. This is the Video Pro. I hope you can see it better. There you go, it's focusing. It's focusing. So, this is an amazing product, so it, it, works, uh, it works great. <coughs> if you want to do that, uh, you can uh, broadcast on. Facebook, on Ustream, YouTube, and everything else. So let's start uh, now seeing the product a little bit uh, so you can see how it is everything. We are going to open it, uh, do an unboxing, so that way we. Uh, we
we will see what is inside. So this, I'm going to talk also about another products like maybe Cerebo, that is another product that is kind of competition, it's not a real competition with this. Maybe you have another product um, up there, but this, this product, I'm going to explain you a little bit about the difference between the, the old uh, Blackmagic, so the 1080p, this is 4K, so one of the basic uh, stuff that you're going to need, I mean, if you want to broadcast on the internet or maybe you want to just record everything on your computer and then edit it and then upload it to YouTube, this product is very good, but it's very noisy. So what, what it means? It means that it has uh, some fans inside and they are kind of loud, so it's louder than a regular computer. So if you want to have it next to you, that will be a very bad idea. Uh, regarding to another product, maybe like the Roland uh, V1 HD or the Cerebo, like I said before, the LiveWage. Those products, they are small, they are funless. Usually, they, except the Roland, I, I, I don't have it yet, but I'm going to have it very soon. And usually that product has maybe a tiny fan inside, that is what I heard about, and you will hear something. But in this case, this product, it makes a lot of noise. So uh, what I would recommend is to buy a rack. So you put it inside and you can keep it uh, like far away from where you are shooting. And if you can have a, like a super carrier mic, that would be great. So it will not pick up, up any noise from other devices. So that is a, a very good option. Also, uh, this product, you need a, a computer. So all the buttons that you see here uh, on, on the front of, the, of this device, you're not going to be able to use it to, to work, like maybe like the Cerebo that it has just four buttons and then you can change between cameras. The good thing about this is that you can use the computer. This device can be far away. So, and you can use uh, the coaxial cable and the, usually the coaxial cable are, you can use it like very far away, maybe like 100 meters or something like that. It will be about 300 feet. And with the HDMI, it will be around 30 feet or 10 uh, meters. So if you want to use something like that, like I said with the other products, uh, the Cerebo or maybe the, the other product, like, like I said, the Roland uh, V1, you will need uh, some kind of extension core or, or some kind of uh, ex extender device. So you can use it with another product that is farther away if you, if you want to connect the, maybe a far away camera. So that is the thing. So with this product, you use the Equaxel and the way you go. So that is, that is great. So uh, another thing, uh, like I said before, you can use it with a computer. That is good. You may have another one computer just to uh, handle this device, or you can use an iPad. But the iPad, uh, they don't have the, um, um, one app for this. So you have to buy like a third party application and that way you can use it. If you are going to use it with a computer, no problem, you can use it. Uh, without any issue, without buying anything else. What I recommend also is keep one computer just for this device so you can change the camera and everything else. And uh, you can use another computer if you're going to use the input or the output, the other computer to connect in this, in this device. So that is, is very, is highly recommended. It's highly recommended. So that is what I, I, I will do with this uh, kind of uh, device. So now we are going to crack it open. So I'm going to open it up. So we will see what is inside and you can see the, the same. So now we're going to try to open it up from one end. You can see here, there you go.
the bad thing about this device, I mean, besides the price and the, the fan and everything else, is that it, this device doesn't come with the power cord, so that is not a good thing. I mean, if you don't have a power cord lay, laying around, like a, it's, a, it's just a regular power cord, like a computer power cord, so you will need that. Uh, here, as we can see here, it comes with the SD card, so here is the software. Usually what they say when you call it for the first time, they say, well, uh, try to download it from internet because usually maybe this kind of box or this device has been sitting around for a few months and you always are going to get the old software. So here is the, the device itself. Like I said before, it doesn't come with any uh, power cord. And here in the front, you will have all the, the buttons. Uh, this is the LCD display. So in this display, what you're going to see is the, the preview. It's not the output, so, or how they call, they call it, like program. So that is what you can do with these buttons. And other than that, you're not going to be able to do much. What I will highly recommend is protect this device from everything like a lightning or maybe a surge on the current and all those things. Otherwise, if there is a, anything, uh, you may ruin this device for life. So uh, what I recommend is to see all other of my videos that I, I teach about the power strip. There are power strip from AP, uh, APC. They're very good and they will help you to pre to prevent any uh, from any ser uh, search. So that is what I would say. Also, if you can pro pr uh, connect all your devices, because maybe if you have one device that is not connected in my the current or the Spark or whatever or the search will go run through the HDMI, and you will have a, a problem with this. So I had that issue with one of those. I had everything connected to my UPS, um, stabilizers and other things. And there was one monitor that was, uh, wasn't was connected and in a lightning storm, uh, when it struck, it struck, it struck the, the house, uh, the device stopped working. I mean, everything seems to be working fine, but the output was dead, dead. So that is what I would recommend to protect it uh, as much as possible. So I'm going to show you here a little bit if you never saw it before. I'm going to turn it around so you can see better. So here we have the, the LAN port. So this is the Ethernet port. Here we have the USB. So the first time that you connect this device, you're going to need the USB. Usually, if you want to set up for a static IP or DHCP IP here. Uh, here is the, it has just one HDMI in, so you can use this. HDMI or this one uh, for the SDI. So this is what you're going to need is one or the other. You cannot uh, use both at the same time. Usually what I recommend is to leave this one for the computer because uh, when you connect this uh, port to the computer, it's, uh, I mean, to the computer, to the output of the computer, you will see things uh, more accurate. Um, otherwise, if you try to use another kind of uh, a adapter or sca a scaler or something like that, it will not look good. Should, usually what I use is I use a scaler, but in this port, if I try to use any other other port to uh, come uh, with, the, with the computer, uh, the image will be very bad. So what I recommend is a decimator. Decimator works great. So that is what I would uh, recommend. And for the other things, if you're going to use uh, any other uh, camera, you can use a, a converter, or if you have a camera that is HDI uh, native, uh, you can use it as well. So here we have uh, 10 inputs, so that is all you're going to use. And here we have the output. This will be for a monitor, or you can use, if you don't have if you have, this is all, all you have and you don't have anything else, 
there is uh, another product uh, called Inuchini that you can connect here. So everything that uh, comes from here, you can uh, stream it to internet. What I did is I bought a, a HDMI splitter. So uh, that, that way I can have the same output for the monitor and for the, this device so I can stream and uh, watch everything I do. And uh, this will be for the monitor, or for another monitor, so you can see all the, the cameras, all the inputs. Um, this is for the audio, so if you're going to use an analog or, or something like that, or maybe you're going to use a mixer, something like that, you can use uh, this. Um, this remote, I never use it, so... Um, and basically that's it. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, later on, if you need, I, we can, I can show you how to use it. Um, it, it works very well. I mean, it works great for a chroma key. So if you want to use it with chroma key, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, and it's fast. You have to save all the configurations. Sometimes the chroma key, it might be a kind of pain to set it up in, in the beginning, but after you have it, up and running, save the configuration and try to, to play with it. And after maybe a couple hours, you will, you will be able to use it just uh, very, very well. So that is what I can say about uh, this, this product. We're going to start using another product as, as well. And we're going to see how it behaves. So what I would say is uh, try to watch my other videos about uh, Blackmagic so that way you can uh, see what I said about the Ethernet, in the video card that has just the output that is SDI. So if, you, if you're thinking, well, I use the computer, the output, and then I'll put it here, mm, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work <laughs> at all. So it, just, it works just with a few, few programs and, and that's it. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, unboxing and a little experience. So before buying these things, if you have any question leave it in the comment in the section below also you can go to my uh, other website uh, gaba qsa there is a forum you can uh, write me over there if you have any other uh, comment about this so thank you for watching subscribe click a like and see you next time